This is a Fox News alert. Tropical storm Florence is driving inland and sowing destruction in its path. What was once a hurricane a short time ago has already claimed several lives. Good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson. Tonight we've got a lot of news ahead, but we want to start with this storm. We've got a team of reporters spread across the Carolinas right in the middle of this storm. Deadly storm surge and flooding are major concerns right now. We're going to start with Leland Vitter, who's in Moorhead City, North Carolina. Leland, what's it like? Well, Tucker, it's unbelievable. Still now 24 hours since the really bad stuff started in Moorhead City. You can still at times lean against these gusts of winds. If nothing else, just to demonstrate how long this storm is taking to move on. And it's really an exponential effect of damage between the amount of rain we are seeing, the amount of storm surge we're seeing, and the duration of it that we are seeing. And it's very easy in the first couple of hours of these hurricanes after they pass a little bit to go, oh, well, you don't really see that much destruction. It's going to take days before people can get out and survey what's happening. There's still a lot of areas that we can't get to. As we drove around just a little bit today, we saw entire marinas decimated. That means people's livelihoods taken away in addition to their homes most likely taken away. The boat captains around here won't be able to make a living for a very long time, Tucker. That's a good point. It takes a long time even to know what happened. Leland Vitter, thank you. Move now to Rick Leventhal, who is live for us tonight in Wilmington, North Carolina. Rick? Tucker, we just moved from Riceville Beach. We're on the west side of the Intracoastal in a private community where there are dozens, if not hundreds, of trees that have fallen. One, uh, two of the four fatalities reported so far was a mother uh, and her infant who were killed by a falling tree on their house. Well, there are trees all over this town and this state that are coming down. You can probably see the, the branch right here. Uh, there's some next to us. It's very dark here. The power is still off, so it's difficult to show you. But some of these trees that came down, not this one, but others that we've seen that are blocking the roads here are at least 50 years old. They're, it's not safe to be out here, and we're not going to stay out here for very long because we fully expect more of these trees to come down. But this uh, threat, Tucker, is true across the state. The ground's been saturated. They had record rainfall already this summer and now with all this additional rain up to three inches an hour in some spots it's going to create a lot of hazards for trees and power lines to come down and and authorities are very nervous about people being out on the roads and being victims of, of stuff like this exactly it's cumulative be careful thanks rick we'll go now to one of the largest cities affected in the carolinas fox charlotte's brett baldock is in charlotte for us tonight brett Yeah, we just had one of those outer bay, a rain bands move through the Charlotte area, but winds have been strong all day. Take a look at this car right here. A tree fell on it earlier this afternoon. Luckily, there were no injuries. The man parked here, unfortunately, because he thought some of the trees were going to fall down and it fell right on his car. We're expecting at least a foot of rain in Charlotte over the next couple of days, which is something that many places places in these areas have not seen before this is just the start of the storm in charlotte we've already had trees down but officials are expecting even more power outages trees down and devastating flooding over the weekend a foot of rain unbelievable brett baldick in charlotte north carolina for us thank you we're going to go down to steve harrigan he is where he was last night at north topsail beach steve how is it Tucker, we had to pull back a little bit from the beach because the water was simply rising too high. For the past 30 hours, it's been raining steadily, more than 20 inches in this area, and moving around on the roads has simply gotten too dicey. Some police over here are blocking that traffic. The wind today was strong enough to cause some serious damage to a lot of houses on the beach. We saw some roofs taken off and some other problems as well. The one thing that's been clear in this storm, the message has gotten out to the people of North Carolina. Almost all the homes we saw, even the damaged ones, boarded up, no one inside. And help is coming from around the country, at least 19 different states sending swift boat rescue teams to help people with the flooding ahead. Tucker, back to you. Steve Harrigan, North Topsail Beach. There's a storm. He's there. I want to go down to our Ellison Barber. She's in Florence, South Carolina, and she joins us live. Ellison, what's it like there? Hey, Tucker, so we really weren't feeling any effects of this storm until a few hours ago. You can see the wind and the rain are starting to pick up. The winds, the strongest winds were recorded about an hour away from here, closer to Myrtle Beach near Conway, South Carolina. Experts say wind gusts there hit about 63 miles per hour. But the story here, the story there across the state of Cal 
South Carolina is not and has not been about the wind. Officials, federal and state officials, say their focus is in the is the rainfall and potential flash flooding in South Carolina. There's a lot of concern about the development over the next couple of days for river flooding. There's a basin, the PD River Basin. Water flows into that from North Carolina and South Carolina. Officials here in South Carolina say across the state that that basin is one of their highest priorities over the next couple of days. The governor is telling everyone, whether they're inland or uh, in another part of the state, to hunker down, stay put for the next two days because they say this storm is going to be slow and long. They're saying it won't be like Hurricane Hugo. It won't come through here quickly, and they want to make sure people stay put because they're really worried about all the rain and potential flooding. Tucker? I bet they are. Ellison Barber, Florence, South Carolina, thank you very much for that. So Florence and towns like it are on the leading edge of this storm. The question is what's ahead for them? How much water is on the ground right now? And what will that mean for the destruction that this storm can wreak? Chief Meteorologist Rick Reichmuth has been following this since the very beginning, and he joins us now. Rick, what's, what happens next? Uh, it's a really interesting storm. Because it moves so slow, that just makes all these different kinds of impacts uh, come over probably about the next five to six days, maybe even a little bit longer. just want to show you this is the last 24 hours of the storm. Started there just off of Moorhead City, which, by the way, is almost at 24 inches of rain officially, which if it gets just over 24. That would be the wettest tropical system North Carolina has ever had, and I guarantee you they'll get far over that. Uh, it has moved about 145 miles is all in this time. We have some flooding going on. Obviously, you're seeing all of the flooding, but these are our only river gauges where we are seeing either moderate or major flooding going on right now. Go to five days from now, Tucker, and take a look at this. We've got river gauges all over the place that are going to be probably at record levels, and that's because of the rain that's about to come and the rain that is going to move in, move off of the mountain areas and inland areas and uh, just all piles up. So we have a very long event here. We probably have rain until Tuesday or Wednesday, and we are going to have those rivers at record levels, in some cases maybe six to seven feet higher than records, and that will stay at that level for probably five to six days. Oof. Harsh. Rick Reichman, thanks a lot for yep. that. We'll continue to update, of course, on the storm all hour and all evening right here on Fox. So stay tuned for that. Well, there's a lot going on in the political world tonight. Democrats